Welcome to this video on Introduction to Graphs. This video introduces the basic concepts of graph in the context of computer networks. We begin with the definition of a graph. A graph G consists of a non-empty set of vertices denoted as capital V and a set of edges as capital E. Each edge has either one of the vertices associated with it called its endpoints. The following graph G consists of four vertices A, B, C and D and four edges AB, AC, PC and BD. Now we shall discuss the terminologies used in graph theory. Infinite graph. Infinite graph is a graph with an infinite vertex set. Whereas a graph with finite number of vertices is called a finite graph. Now consider a computer network made up of data symbols and communication links between them. This computer network can be modeled using a graph where each data symbol location is depicted as a vertex and each communication link by an edge. Such a graph is called a symbol graph where each edge connects two different vertices. But in reality, a computer network may contain multiple links between data centers. To model such networks, we need graphs with multiple edges connecting the same pair of vertices. Graphs with multiple edges are called multigraphs. Note, multiple edges are also called as multiple parallel edges. Sometimes a com communication link connects a data center to itself via a feedback loop for diagnostic purposes. To model such networks, we need to include edges that connect the vertex to itself. Such edges are called loops. Graphs with loops and possibly multiple edges connecting the same pair of vertices are called a pseudo graph. So far, the graphs we have introduced were undirected graph. Edge Chicago to New York represents a communication link between the data center at Chicago to New York as well as a communication link between New York to Chicago. In a computer network, some links may operate only in one direction. This occurs when there is a large amount of traffic sent to some data centers with little or no traffic going in the opposite direction. Such a network is depicted in the following graph using directed edges where a direction is associated with an edge. In the edge Chicago to New York, data flows from the data center located at Chicago to New York. Now we shall formally define a directed graph. A directed graph or a diagraph consists of a non-empty set of vertices and a set of directed edges. Here each directed edge is associated with an ordered pair of vertices. In short, problems in almost every conceivable discipline can be solved using graph models. The following table summarizes the types of graphs discussed with respect to computer networks. Thank you.